you over here talking to baby Floyd Mayweather, you gonna probably get your teeth knocked out. Your hair becomes Biggie yeah, Big You and no, your no, baby no, father. What it is, ho? A oh, what's up? Nunu said that she got snug. What it is, ho? A oh, what's up? I heard Scotty tried to jump. Hold on, hold on. But what it is, ho? A oh, what's up? If it's true, Nunu need to fuck him up. Because, girl, if I'm hearing what I'm hearing correctly, you need to get your one at the reunion, okay? Oh, girl, it's just a hot mess. I'm not gonna lie. These new girls are literally spilling all the beans. Like, since the season has started, they have been going live. They have been spilling the beans. They've been spoiling future episodes. It's been a mess online, especially with the replacements, girl. The replacements that just... That, that uh, honestly, at this point, I'm just wishing y'all would have just stayed y'all ass in a hotel room and never would have came out because it's, it's a hot mess every single time, chow. But let's just go ahead and get into it. What's good? What's up, Messy Mob? It's your girl, Messy Maya, and I am back again with another video. So today, today we're going to be getting into some mess concerning the cast of Baddies Caribbean, specifically Nunu, Scotty, and... On a Mac. Yeah, so it's a mess between those two. I'm not gonna lie. Some words are being exchanged. It's getting more and more heated. On a Mac is popping all out the side of her neck, talking about Nunu kids, talking about her baby father, talking about how she is single mother, how her kids ain't got no daddy. Girl, listen, it's a hot mess right now, and it's, it's just girl. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you know every single time I post a new video. It's Messy Maya, it's the Messy Mob Girl. We are lit over here, trust and believe that. And yeah, let's get into the mess. So the girls are fighting, the girls are fighting, the girls are fighting. So in the latest episode of Baddies Caribbean, Nunu shocked us all, girl. Okay, now some people, I know some people are on her side, but a lot of us were caught off guard that somebody that's been stuck in a hotel room, I don't care what y'all say, it's Deuce and Natalie's fault. It's girl, it, it don't matter. She been stuck in a hotel room, yet she got so much mouth about a situation that has nothing to do with her that she don't got no ties to. Okay, so in the midst of this, of course, Anna Mac is bringing up who her baby father is and how pretty much the reason why she's on the show is because not only did Biggie give her a ticket, but because of who she got tied with, which is her baby daddy, which is Antonio Brown. Not gonna lie, I know some of y'all don't like Anna, and Anna do be getting on my nerves too. I'm not gonna lie, okay? She do. And, and, and in the midst of this argument, I'm gonna speak about it too. Anna also got on my nerves. But Anna was eating her up during that argument, child. So I guess after it aired or whatever, girl, you know, because Anna Mac, you know, she spoke on, she spoke on the baby daddy, child. And, you know, <laughs> sorry. And, uh, you know, Nunu ain't like that, child. So she went on live, pretty much, you know, calling out Anna Mac. Hey, that, it's a kid that's involved. It's a kid that's. So don't tell me about domestic violence crazy. It's a kid involved. Anna's a grown ass. My state, it's a kid that's involved. It's a kid that's. So don't tell me about domestic violence crazy. It's a kid. I'm gonna give that to fight me. That's why I hit the ponytail. Hold on. Cause I'm that type. You wanna talk about me getting my ass beat? Your fa your son is father. Your son is fatherless. Are you dumb? You talking about your dead mother there's no correlation a mother got beat up and a mother is dead you need to go to so i you know how much of a grown woman i was at that dinner because i wanted to say mom and the fucking grave she's in i dead wanted to say that right. but i'm such a good woman i'm such a good woman but you getting on this fucking app for six months straight playing with my name and i didn't say nothing to you with your bag of pennies booty bbl like girl you swear we saw it in real life um. It's a bad I'm going to say this the nicest way possible. I want Anna Mac to get dog walked at the reunion. <laughs> I want, like, I, I'm not even saying it, like, in a malicious way. Because to a certain extent, I like Anna Mac. Like, I feel like she has loads of personality. She's so beautiful. She's so petite. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like she can be bold a lot of the times. 
But I feel like she pop it too much. I do. <laughs> I just want her like and it's not even like it's like it's like I want you to get dog walked out of love like I'm not even not even saying that to be a fake ass hoe but I'm just saying I'm not saying it because I don't want her oh like I physically want her hurt like I don't like her I want her dog walk it's not in that sense it's more so like I want you to get dog walked so you can humble yourself a little bit hoe <laughs> that's it that's it she she pop it too much she pop it too much and I feel like she got so much mouth because she knows she protected. And there's nothing wrong with her friends having her back or her friends. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that because you know that those are your friends as they should. But can you stand like, can you, can you do that on your own two feet, baby girl? Can you? Can you? <laughs> I want her to get dog walk out of love. That's it. That's it. She pop it too much, but I'm also, but Nunu, but at the same time, it's like, I lack sympathy for Nunu too, because baby girl, oh baby, oh, this is an accountability session, baby, a hood accountability session. Okay. Everybody is being held accountable. It's hard for me to have sympathy, not because I got sympathy for her because of course her mom passed away. I wouldn't wish that on nobody, not even my worst enemy. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, and I said this in my recap too, I have sympathy with her and I kind of understood a little bit more as to why she snapped on the Mac a little bit. But at the same time, again, you had no ties to that situation. You don't know Mariah Lynn. You don't know on Mac. It's not like you're Mariah Lynn's friend and you're speaking up for her. You don't know Mariah Lynn. You haven't been in the house. Okay. You've been cooped up in a hotel room. No shade. You've been cooped up in a hotel room. You don't know Mariah Lynn. You damn sure don't know Anna Mac. You damn sure ain't been in the house enough around them long enough to even know anything or any type of insight on what is going on. Not only that, but Anna Mac and Mariah Lynn made up that same episode. Ma'am. <laughs> Ma'am. Okay. Why are you putting your two cents in on a situation that has absolutely nothing to do with you, ma'am? Okay, so at, so at a certain point, it's hard to have sympathy for her because you literally picked a fight with Automatic. You picked a fight with her, but then Automatic, she just she she pop it. But when she but when she pop it, she's so reckless with it. She's so she's so reckless. It ain't even my mama. It ain't my kids. It ain't my baby daddy. But I'm telling you, I wanna. <laughs> I want to come across the phone and, and get on the Mac myself for Nunu because it's like, girl, some things you just don't see. <laughs> on the Mac, just, she just has no filter. She Her mouth is so reckless. And honestly, I feel like her hands don't match. I feel like her hands don't match. Her bark is bigger than her bite. And it's, it irritates me, okay? I'm all for not being scared. I'm all for, you know, she's petite. She's little. I'm all for not letting and, and younger than all of them. You know, she's younger than all of them, too. So I'm all for not letting the older, bigger girls punk you. Little girl, you, I get it. But girl, some of the things that be coming out her mouth, girl, I'd be like, oh, my God, girl. Girl, she need to get popped. She need to get popped in her mouth. So somebody do. Like I said, I, I, I mean no malicious intent when I say it. I promise you I don't. I don't mean nothing malicious when I say it. I like Anna Mac, but she gets on my nerves sometimes. Somebody just pop her mop her okay and, and like i said i don't care too much for nunu well i did but now i don't it's more so like not that i don't care for nunu i just feel like she she talked out of turn when it really like you i feel like she made herself look dumb like you know what i'm saying i thought like she made herself look dumb she was feeling for a storyline but it was obvious that she was feeling for a storyline because she spoke on something that had nothing to do with her so in that sense she irritated me but at the same time i don't hate her you know what i'm saying like i want to see more of her she seems cool she's super pretty you know but girl mm -mm. all these girls get on my nerves i'm not gonna lie like they do and i know they get on my nerves when scotty is <laughs> when scotty when i'm looking at scotty like oh so you're not that bad like you know what i'm saying like all y'all on this season a lot of y'all are getting on my nerves i'm not gonna lie like i, I want on mac to get popped i do but at the same time, I feel like, you know, at the same time, I feel like, you know, she said, what she, although it's wrong and she she went below the belt talking about that girl kids and how her kids go grow up fatherless, this, that and the third talking about her mama, you know, that passed away. 
I feel like Nunu should have never started with her. Like you literally, you literally asked for this high key. You asked for it. But at the same time, on the Mac, you pop it too much. Both of y'all get on my nerves. No shade. Okay, so this is a bit of a throwback. Not what Nunu said, but the video that is shown right here, a screenshot of the video. So I don't know if y'all know, if y'all kept up with Baddies East tea, last season's tea, but okay so preseason drama of last season right smiley put out a video of basically her cousin pulling up on them at the baddie's house to fight on the mac and when i tell you on mac got dog walked on them stairs like on mac wasn't even fighting back like she was getting dog walked i don't know if <laughs> I tried to find the video, but I can't even find it. And even if I did find it, I couldn't even play it because I'm not trying to get, you know what I'm saying? I don't want YouTube on me, but I'm telling y'all, she got dog walked bad, like on them. It, it was like, they was like on a staircase and she was just getting, and she was just letting it happen, girl. She wasn't even fighting back, girl. Listen, so, <laughs> so Nunu shared this video or whatever, or a screenshot of the video pretty much. And as you can see, because, you know, you can see the words of Smiley basically saying like, oh, yeah, like Automat did this with my cousin, man, and my cousin pulled up and got her. Da -da 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 -da. This was the, during the uh, filming of Baddies East. So, like I said, Nunu shared this. I don't know if she shared the clip or the screenshot, but girl, she shared it and she had girl. She kept going on about Automat, child. <laughs> I don't know why, but I love when the girls clock each other. She said and she thinks she fucking with me delusion must be going for the low this year okay so she makes it she basically saying that the lulu that delusion is on sale it's on the clearance rack chat that's what she, like, i'm adding a little state to it but i'm telling y'all this is what she's saying she's saying on the mat and, and you 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 got top on the stairs like this <laughs> I love paraphrasing what they be saying because I be adding so much stink, but that's really what they saying. Like in my head, that's what they saying. So she said, girl, you got tore up on the stair. <laughs> she said, she said, so girl, you got, you got tore up by Smiley's cousin on, on the stairway. You didn't fight back. You got dog walked and you think you can met and you, and you got all this mouth and you think you can fuck with me. <laughs> No, ma'am. No ham. No turkey. Delusion is on the clearance rack, girl. It is 50% off, girl, because y'all hoes is delusional, girl. If you think you fucking with me, you're not fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what that's basically what Nunu said. Like, that's not what she said, but that's really what she meant to say. Okay, and I'm just paraphrasing. I, I, don't shoot the messenger. I'm telling y'all that's what she meant to say. Okay, that's pretty much what she's saying. Okay, and then she goes on to say, get in the field, Arnold. And I'm not laughing because I hate Anna Mac. Because like I said, I I I don't I don't hate her. You know what I'm saying? It's not even like that I don't like her. I like Anna Mac, but sometimes we gotta hold the girls accountable, okay? Sometimes we gotta hold them accountable. Anna Mac pop and, and like I said, at the end of the day, Nunu started with her first. Nunu inserted herself into into a situation that had absolutely nothing to do with her. And, and, and she's still wrong for that. I hold her accountable, tore her up in one of my videos for it that y'all were mad about, by the way, which is crazy because she literally had no reason to say anything to Onomac or to have that much pent up aggression towards Onomac when she had, she, girl, you know what I'm saying? But I can't believe y'all was even defending Nunu. But anyway, let's get on Onomac. Although Nunu, I feel like Nunu asked for it a little bit because Nunu, you know, she came at her for no reason the way she did trying to little girl her in front of everybody. So it's like, at this point, you, girl, you open up them can of worms, girl, and, and whatever she say about you is what she say about you. On the Mac, I feel like she run her mouth too much, and I feel like she be hitting low the belt. She run her mouth too much, and them hands don't match, and I feel like she feel like she protected. Somebody got to get that hope. Somebody got to get her, and I'm saying it out of love. Somebody got to get her, okay? And I feel like Nunu going to be the one to do <laughs> I feel like Nunu gonna be the one to do it. She said, get in the field, Arnold. She said, you really think you met the girl? I ain't even gotta say it again, girl. I feel like she 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 kind of gagged her a little bit right here. I'm not gonna lie. So Nunu continues to throw shots. So you guys know in the latest episode of Baddies Caribbean, Grabby wanted to say Baddies East so bad. But in the latest episode of Baddies Caribbean, they pretty much previewed um DTB versus Bit Kiva and Nunu. So <laughs> <laughs> so I guess during this preview, Anna Mac was in the back cheering, okay, while Nunu was getting into it with DTB. So let's get into what Nunu had to say about that. So Nunu said, Anna, 
cheering for her homegirl DTB while the whole time they both gonna get done the same way. So child girl. Okay, so Antonio Brown is her baby father. So pretty much <laughs> So he commented on a clip of Nunu at the auditions because y'all know when Nunu introduced herself, which I think is so pathetic and so sad, no shade. I said the same thing about Sapphire when Sapphire introduced herself as Suki Hana's best friend. Girl, separate yourself from like, it don't matter how, how famous, how famous the person is that you are attached to or you got ties to. Always try to separate yourself and try to make a name for yourself at the end of the day. You're going to be on the show, not him. So anyways, I, girl, I digress. I just think it's so pathetic and it's a sad girl. But anyway, <laughs> but anyways, so y'all know at the auditions, Nuno basically introduced herself as Antonio Brown's, you know, baby mother. Okay. <laughs> Which is ironic because it don't seem he really like her that much. So he basically shared the clip um and commented on it whatever 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 but he has some thoughts on it and he said bitch ain't got no name for herself other than being antonio brown's baby father and then um Anna Mac responded no same for real didn't even say her name she said hey my baby father is very controversial like girl you don't got a <laughs> like girl you don't got a name so we know that Scotty has never really been the one for unfair fighting. If you guys notice, like if there's something unfair going on, Scotty's most likely the one outside of it trying to convince everybody to stop doing what they're doing. For an example, just like when Bianca got her goggles snatched off her head and also when Diamond Abadi um, snuck her that same day when she was on the ATV thing after Asian Doll versus Mariah Lynn, Scotty definitely spoke up and told them that they were being weird. If you guys didn't notice as well, this is another example, but a lot of people don't even realize this, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. So... Okay, so when E.T. ran up on Natalie at the Baddies East auditions, right, and everybody, you know, they was they was coming at her. Um, when Tessiki and E.T. did their first round, I believe, House B attempted to jump E.T. And even though Scotty was already mad at E.T. for running up on Natalie and doing what she did to Natalie, she still stood up for E.T. She still, she literally said, y'all weird, y'all trying to jump, y'all weird, y'all weird, da 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 so she's never been the one to sit back and be a bystander to unfair fighting. If it has something to do with somebody else. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't speak on certain things. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Those are just observations I've made about Scotty. So in the next episode, they previewed again. They previewed Nuno and Big Kiva versus DTB. Now on the outside looking in, it definitely looked like they tried to jump that girl. So I don't know whether y'all peeped or not. Y'all might have to go back and look. But in the midst of that, you can tell that Scotty was girl. Our girl Scotty was in distress, girl. She was trying to stop it from happening. And in the midst of doing so, she pushed Nunu to, uh, so, so DTB could not get jumped, okay? Now, she posted this on her story because if you guys don't know, now you know, DTB is definitely trying to fight Scotty at the reunion. But, you know, Scotty, you know, she basically shared it on her story like, you know, you know, you, you want to get into it with me at the reunion and you trying to fight me the whole time I, I did have your back. You know what I'm saying? So as you can see in the previous screenshot, Nunu did not like this at all. I guess her adrenaline got to pumping, girl. It was a heat in the moment. And she did not realize that Scotty was pushing on her to get her up off of DTB or to avoid DTB getting jumped. I guess she didn't realize because, girl, she commented, as you could see in the last screenshot, like I said, and she said, quote, unquote, noted as if she going to do something to Scotty. OK, I believe she actually will. You know, she she seemed like she would. She seemed like that type. I think I think I think she gonna try to get into it with Scotty at the reunion. I don't see why else she would comment, quote unquote, noted if she wasn't gonna pop it with Scotty at the reunion about Scotty pushing her up off of DTB again with just the with just the I I just don't understand like what what you mad about, girl? What if both of y'all were getting? I, I I don't understand what she mad about. Like I would understand if Scotty jumped in for DTB but she just pushed you away to avoid DT for, for to, uh, you know what I'm saying so DTB could not get jumped like I don't understand what's the issue would you not do that for your friend as well like can we can we can we talk about it like what are you so mad about and why are you saying no to as if you gonna try to slide on Scotty 
for trying to defend her friend. And then Scotty also clocked DTB too because uh, DTB swore up and down that she want to fight Scotty. And, she, you know, Scotty was not a friend to her. And Scotty was following behind Natalie because Natalie didn't like um, DTB. But, girl, whole time she's sitting here defending you. But, you know, go off. Let's just go ahead and get into what the comments had to say about... <laughs> about Nunu commenting noted about Scotty, you know, finding out that Scotty pushed her child. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first comment says, I'm sick of Nunu for real and we don't even know. <laughs> he said, I'm sick of Nunu for real and we don't even know her. That's how I feel to like a certain extent. Like, like I said, it's not, it's not, it's not like I can't stand you or like, I don't like you for real, for real. Because like I said, I feel like we really don't know her enough to say that. You know what I'm saying? But I could understand why somebody would say that. Because, you know, girl, based on the last episode alone, child. But I feel like I don't know her enough or seen her enough to be like, ugh, like, yuck, ick. You know what I'm saying? Like, ew, tomato, tomato. Stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, yuck. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we don't, we haven't seen her enough to say that. But it's like, I'm sick of you, ho. <laughs> and, I, and I barely see you. It's insane. All right. So the next person said, well, you, girl, responding to her saying noted to Scotty. Somebody said, well, you won't be on the next season. Noted. <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all be eating these girls up. Somebody else said, I don't understand Nunu's purpose on this show. If I'm being totally honest, girl. <laughs> she's a replacement that girl I, I girl listen girl next okay so another comment says noted for what lol she gonna fight scotty for making sure don't know weak ish go down <laughs> no for real though like you're literally gonna girl please you know what i'm saying like she you, girl the way that she acting you would think that scotty actually jumped in and tried to get her too no you and kiva were doing what y'all was doing and Scotty did not was was not rocking with that and that's just that anyways so the next comment says somebody please call her baby oh my god so <laughs> they said somebody please call her baby daddy and tell him to start paying that child support so she can get off my screen <laughs> I hate y'all so much y'all so aggravating y'all is so aggravating all right so then <laughs> Then the next person said, why she mad somebody stopped her from jumping somebody? That would be expected. I definitely agree. And Tatiana, this chop she this bill, bring it in her bite ass hoe. And Tatiana, okay. she third grade, I fought on the bus, that was about. And Tatiana, she third grade, I fought on the bus, that was about. And Tatiana, she third grade, I fought on the bus, that was about. And Tatiana, she third grade, I fought on the bus, that was about. And Tatiana, she third grade, I fought on the bus, that was about. But then, let y'all fans tell it, she not scary, she bold. Girl. I said she a little bold because I feel like she's not going to let nobody play with her or she's not going to let nobody little girl her to a certain extent. But I'm talking about really getting in the field. Not bold. No ma'am. No ham. No turkey. Engine reserve. Yet she hopping into people fights. Girl. Trying to, trying to, get, trying to get licks off of people while they into it with somebody else. Automatic. You pissed me off so bad, girl. Let's get into what Nunu had to say. And Nunu basically, you know, she spilled the tea on what happened. Let's get into it. From what it looked like, it looked like Dime was fighting you. Then then Kiva jumped in to help. No, no. So the other um, girls and the other them helped that, Dime No, no. Let me tell you, it's that's the way they edited. Like. Let me tell you how it's, that's, it's just edited like that. Oh. When um I fought I fought Diamond Body twice. So the first time I fought her was that little clip y'all seen. And then I came back and I hit her. That's when she fell yeah. to the floor. And then I then I fought her when she went, when she fell to the floor. That's when they tried to jump me. That's when Anna was getting her free licks off me. Then I fought Dominant Body again. And then when I turned my back, Dominant Body hit me from the back. And that's when Kiva jumped in. So you fought so three Kiva rounds. Couldn't, so Kiva couldn't fight Anna if she wanted to. And then Anna jumped in Kiva's fight as well and hit Kiva. That's what Kiva problem is. You're hitting people, but you can't be touched. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. Just like if it was anybody else who was saying they injured and they hitting somebody, even if it was me mm -hmm. that said I was injured and then I'm hitting everybody, y'all gonna be looking at me like, bitch, stop hitting people if you know you can't get hit back. Yeah. I mean, it, it makes sense now. I, that's why I'm saying if you're injured reserve, you shouldn't be, you know, on the show. I, that's why I feel like that. Because if you're injured reserve, you hit somebody, somebody hits you back as, oh, why would you hit that girl like that? You fucked up her face. It's really taking a risk if you ask right. me. Right. 
So if this is true, which I'm pretty sure it is because we've all witnessed and y'all really tried to brush it off and ignore it. I've been calling it out since it happened, though. Y'all really tried to sit there and brush it off and ignore the fact that E.T. was literally getting into it with everybody. E.T. Call <laughs> e. called out everybody's fade after she got done with Tessiki, running her once with Tessiki. She stood up, called out everybody's fade, asked everybody, did they, like, she specifically said, Anna, Biggie, Mariah, y'all got an issue? What's up? What's up? Y'all y'all trying to y'all trying to get y'all fade in? What y'all trying to do? Be up and all girl tore down and all. ET still stood on all 10 and asked them hoes, who want it? Who else? All y'all got an issue. All y'all been popping it. Who else want it? None of them stood up. I think Mariah Lynn stood up, but Anna Mac definitely did not stand up. But later in the episode, she literally popped ET from the side while her back was turned when she was getting into it with Biggie. Anna Mac is a p <laughs> then to make matters worse she completely proves my point that she is, that she is what she is we all know what i'm talking about girl she proved my point because she literally turned around right after this right after you know the back and forth with nunu nunu basically calling her out on live nunu you know revealing the fact that she jumped in multiple fights and snuck people while they were already getting into it with somebody she turned around the same day and and at proudly admitted that the OGs are going to be jumping the replacements at the reunion. <laughs> so Anna Mac specifically said, honestly, I feel like, honestly, honestly, I feel like all the OGs need to whoop, aka, well, whoop slash jump the replacements. I'm so over it. I'm over it. Then she said, I guess MFs are getting jumped for real. And of course, as one of the new girls slash replacements, Nuna was not having it. She commented and she said, one thing Arnold is going to do is turn her problem into everyone else's <laughs> is turn her problem into everybody else's problem girl tell us you're scared without telling us that you're scared hashtag this your fave hashtag get in the field hashtag baby may <laughs> hashtag stop ducking smoke so y'all remember jl right you know the one that meatball got sent home for being you know meatball scary girl she got jl sent home because she didn't want to keep running arounds with jo so she had jl sent home i know y'all remember jo so jo basically you know as a replacement as a new girl she also was not feeling what anna mac was saying and she also <laughs> girl she also responded girl uh she girl anna mac got the replacements mad today child because she said girl y'all trying to jump us no ma'am no him no turkey not gonna happen okay and, and J.O., honestly, it sounded like J.O. want her to do it. It sounded like it, her energy gave very much, I wish you would. And I hope that wish come true. Okay, let's get into what J.T. Girl, why did I almost say J.T.? Let's, let's get into what J.O. had to say. I don't give a lot up, bitch. I know any bitch, job, bitch, I'm, I'm, it's, it's, I'm taking it to the streets, baby. I'm coming to where you sleep at, on me. But nice try, wrong guy, bitch, try, try. Try to try. Try. And then he told, you know what's so funny, y'all? This pussy asshole got the most mouth on the net. And got the most mouth. That's why Christian was about to beat her ass because that mother mouth. That's that's the thing, y'all. When this bitch feel like she protected or whatever, like I keep saying, bitch, and then motherfucker need to stop protecting this hoe too, cause that's gonna cause motherfuckers to be in the world of trouble too. I had to stop doing that when I was younger. Well, uh, uh, for a while back, cause bitch gonna pop that shit, you know you rhyme for him, but them bitches ain't gonna need to rhyme for their motherfucker too. Motherfucker gotta stop doing that. But at the end of the day, I, we don't give a fuck about none of that shit. You better stand on business. I'm Okay, y'all, so that is all I have for y'all today. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Girl, we almost made it to 30 minutes. Well, I'm pretty sure by the end of the outro, it will be 30 minutes in. If you made it this far, thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed my commentary. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Whether you guys agree with me or not, please drop a comment down below and let me know how y'all feel about the tea. Let me know. Let me know how y'all feel. Y'all know I love to hear y'all opinions. I'm dropping content. I'm dropping videos every single day. Okay. Every single day this week, y'all will see some new content, some new tea, some new videos. Make sure y'all run those videos up. My last two videos are up on the screen right now. Make sure y'all run those up if you haven't already. I am with it, girl. I'm with it, girl. I, I, listen, I am motivated. I am ready to get this content out. I love y'all so much. And we're, like I said in the last video, I'm gonna say it again. Girl, we're at 25K Messy Mob members. 
aka subscribers thank y'all so much for everything y'all know i so appreciate y'all if you made it this far go ahead and drop go ahead and drop a blue heart if you made it this far to let me know you made it this far to let me know that you made it to the end of the video let me know who made it this far who a real one who a real messy mob member oh okay yeah i want to know anywho it's messy maya it's the messy mob girl we are lit over here trust and believe that and yeah bye